Today we're gonna check out how to make this insane grungy portrait collage here in Photoshop. I'm gonna go with this artboard size as reference. And the first thing we're gonna do is convert a layer into smart object, select convert a smart object. And from here, let's go to the filter, go to filter gallery. And here we're gonna to need to go to the artistic and select cutout. I'm gonna to go to the number of the levels and I'm gonna select like six. Edge simplicity, I'm gonna increase it to four and edge fidelity to one and click OK. Now we're gonna to go to the image, go to adjustments and select shadows highlights. Here we're gonna go with the default settings and it's gonna look like this, click OK. Let's go back to the filter, go to stylize and select oil paint. First here we're gonna to need to uncheck the lighting and then we're gonna to go to the brush stylization, increase it all the way to 100. Now let's go to the cleanliness, increase it all the way up. I'm going to decrease the scale all the way down and click OK. Now let's go back to the image adjustments, select hue saturation. I'm going to decrease the saturation all the way down, click OK. And we're going to go to the filter again, filter gallery, and we're going to apply another cutout. Here I'm going to go with the same settings, click OK. So it's going to make it more sharper and more simpler. I'm also going to go back to the image adjustments, select the levels, and I'm going to increase the contrast. I'm going to bring these in, something like this. Click OK. Let's go to the adjustments. Let's go and select the posterize, and I'm going to go with level four. Now this is going to simplify it even more, so we got like four nuances here. And then we're going to go back to the adjustments. Let's go and select the gradient map, click on it. And we're gonna need to add a couple of gradients. I'm gonna click here to add another handle. And I'm gonna change the color to red. Click OK. And this red is gonna be at the 33 location. Let's click here. This is gonna be at 66. And I'm gonna double click on the handle, change up the color to green. Click OK. And let's go to the last one. And this is gonna be blue. There you go. Click OK and click OK. And about least, all you need to do is drag and drop textures. And I selected a couple of textures and I'm gonna drop it in. So you're gonna need basically four types of textures. And the first one is the most darkest one. And then we got like a less dark one, a lighter one, and then the most lightest one. So I'm gonna go and uncheck the first ones and select the darkest one. And here all you need to do is go to the layer, double click on it. And here at the blend it, we're gonna need to work with the gray. And I'm gonna go to the handle to here to the underlying layer, bring the white to the black, and this is gonna eliminate the different colors. So I'm gonna pull it all the way to the left. So the texture is going to apply only on the black areas. So now I'm gonna do the same thing with the second texture. I'm gonna activate and arrange it, position it, and let's see. So now we're gonna work with the red. Let's go and activate it, double click. And here at the blend it, I'm gonna switch it to red. And this time we're gonna bring the black to the red area. So this is gonna eliminate the rest of the colors. There you go, click OK. And you can reposition it or scale it up or scale it down and play around with it. So I'm gonna try it out like this. Let's go and activate the third texture. This is gonna be the green click. Here I'm gonna change the blend it to green and repeat the same process bring it all the way to the right. There you go. And now at least I'm gonna go to the last one, which is gonna be the blue. And I'm gonna change it to blue. And there you go. So you're gonna need to arrange these as much as you can in order to find the best balance. I think this looks pretty cool actually. And pretty much that's how I make this collage made of grungy textures here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.